Now, I do not know why it is so warm, but I am grateful. It's supposed to be 60 degrees today, and it's usually, at this point in the year, we've got snow on the ground normally, and it's been cold. There's been flurries, but this is giving us a, uh, a unique opportunity to get a few more things done before the inevitable. And I don't mean these guys. No. Alrighty, ladies and gents. You're the gents. They're the ladies, and then there's what's his face over there. Come on out, guys. Fly, be free. Or at least waddle and go forth. Enjoy the weather while it's still nice out, guys. Now, one of the things that needs to get done is some of this just stuff that piles up while you're doing a project. While we were hanging those doors, they got to get moved because that's going to be covered in snow soon. That's going to be in the way. We're actually reworking the, um, the 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 floor on that. We're going to redo this trailer so it's nicer. And I mean, the frame of it's still pretty good, even though you can see there's little rust spots. But it's nothing in a critical area. A friend of ours actually just did redid the complete wiring on it, so that's all brand new. But uh, we're going to redo the floor and get some new life out of this thing so we don't have to buy a new one. But right now I'm gonna move those bales over here so that I can move that there so that we have a way to get in and out if the snow's hit and we don't get to it right away. Okay, quick, helpful tip. If you do not live up in the frigid, frigid north, you might not know this, and we didn't know this, and I made the mistake, and I learned pain from, painfully from my mistake, and that's this, that block of wood right there. If you live where it's super, super cold, you put that trailer winch thingamabobber screw dilly o mum whatever down, it will freeze to the ground, <laughs> and it will be a bear to get loose so block wood saves the day okay round two for me these panels here this was intended to be a garage door for this barn but for a lot of reasons that didn't work out there was a lot of things missing parts yada yada yippee skippy um, beyond my pay grade went and tried to figure out even went to the the overhead door company no parts no 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 so um, we ended up putting a side on the barn like you guys know, which is good and it's actually better. Uh, but not everything's here. I can't find anybody that wants these. I, my idea was to turn these things into uh, raised beds. So we're gonna repurpose them. We're taking them to a, a, a salvage yard and I think I'm gonna try to get store credit. So I can go ahead and get some items for different projects as a trade, so. This place is unique. So, today has been one of those days for you, Miss Homeschool Queen of All She Surveys. <laughs> School went okay. It was other things that were... Just makes you want to scream. Yes. She, uh... I think you pretty much had one of those days where it's like, all right, somebody get me some chocolate peanut butter ice cream or someone's going to lose gonna their head. Die. They're going to lose their head. And that was at 10 a.m. <laughs> and that's when I came down because I was working and I came down. I heard what was going on and mom had bailed. She's I'm going to my office and I'm going to do some planning. And uh, well, I wasn't able to get it done yesterday. So which is fine. That's not a big deal. I gathered but... the children around. Y'all need to cut it out. And I just said, you see what's going on here, right? <laughs> and they're just like, 
No, I don't know what's going on. And I said, if I were you, I would be extra compliant and I would be extra quiet. <laughs> I, and I said, and I'd use lots of please and thank yous. Which they did. They did all of those things. And I said, or your mom could very well drive you to off a cliff. To the military school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, military academy. That would yeah. work too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was looking upstairs making sure she didn't see me. I saw you. I heard you. <laughs> That's why I put my desk where it is so I could hear and see everything. I just saw what was coming down the pike. <laughs> Well, and it's funny because it started before you came downstairs. I mean, it was pretty much... All day. Yeah. From the time we woke up. It wasn't No, actually, no, it wasn't from the time we woke up. It's when chores got done. Then it was just... Oh my gosh. So the moral of the story gum, is... Gum, gum. Mom! 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 I'm gonna lose it! <laughs> Guys, I just need a little time just to get ready, okay? Can I shower alone, please? Go, 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 Mom, go, go, go. Mom, can I have... There is another parent in the house. <laughs> just... it's, a, it's a pet peeve of hers. It really is. That is one that sends me over the edge, honestly. It's okay. So... Homeschool. But we're good now. Homeschool lesson. I didn't, I didn't have any chocolate to lesson, help me calm down. I didn't actually even drink parents. my tea. I didn't drink tea. This is this is a lesson for Stay parents. Focused. For homeschool Stay parents, focused. it does happen even to these seasoned veterans. Yeah, it seasoned does happen. citizens. Seas <laughs> Seniors. Senior seasons. Seasoned. Veterans. Se seasoned. Veterans. Spicy veterans. Spite. There we go. What? I have no idea. So the moral of the story, let's, let's keep... Don't tick mom off in the morning. There's a good one. Yes. I was just going to say, step away from the angry woman. <laughs> okay. That's Ruben's. It's a unique place. Oh, He's got a squirrel gosh. out front. That's a squirrel There's in a there. There's a couple in there. Yeah. And... Yeah, unique place. Um, <laughs> okay, so look at the massive amount of money we got for this. I and think we spent that much in gas getting here. Well, I'll show you why here in just a second, and it's her fault. It is my fault. Okay, now, the truth is, it is your fault that we only got six bucks, right? No, not at all. It is true. No. True, true, true. It's true. It's true, it's true. It is true. Yeah. However, it's only partially true. Right. That's why I say no way. Okay, because here's the thing. I, I've been busting my butt, hauling that thing, getting it all stacked in there on my own, by the way. Right, yep, he did. And cool. it was 400 and how many pounds? 420 pounds. Okay. With all the all the, the hardware. parts, the wheel, all the hardware, yeah. Yeah, all the hardware and everything, 420 pounds. And they, they looked at it and they said, well, we'll give it to you for scrap. And I thought they were going to at least give like 40 bucks or 50 bucks in product. No. no. But to make matters worse, we're there among the trash heaps offloading it on our own. And the dude was there watching. Um, Krista says, oh my gosh, look over at that. What's that? And then, of course, she had to have it. So this almost cost us to take it for scrap. It technically probably did cost us in gas more than this. So you, the per you, pound, okay. scrap per pound, is what? Um... One and a half cents. Per pound. Per pound. Really? It's good to be in the junk business, I no guess. No kidding. Because okay. he's going to turn around and sell that for a lot of money. So you and I have struggled with the, the idea of why there are 
trash piles on people's property. Yes. Yeah, so now I know why. They, they just keep it. They get it and keep it. Because they get this for 400 pounds of stuff. Yeah, but why would you do that? I don't $6 understand. for I know. having that in your yard? I would not. I would rather have this than a big, big junk pile. Me too. Yeah. Uh, that said, we'll show you what she just had to have. Yeah. <laughs> Which means, hey, Brad, more projects for you. Not now. Oh, yeah. It's not for oh, now. Yes. It's, no, no. Because oh, yes. you don't know where you're going to go. Okay, Mom, it's time for the reveal. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. You want to get set? Dun, 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 dun. Yes. Now, tell me what it is exactly that we're going to, or what have you got I, for I, me to do? <laughs> I don't know yet, but I have always wanted one of these in a kitchen or in a barn, barn kitchen. Barn. <laughs> Here come my friends. Hello, friends. They hear my voice. My geese know my name. And then they're going after Ruth. Anyway, so <laughs> so this is it's probably it's good probably forty five pounds. It's yep. tin. It's, well, it's metal. A stainless steel, and it has a drain board on both sides. So these are these go for pretty expensive because it's enamel. Um, and there's some chips and dings, you know, but I don't really care about the chips and dings. It's this drain board that's really cool. We'll so. call it character. It, yes, it definitely character. It's got character in the in the big in the big city. Right, right. You charge more for character. Yes, you do. Totally do. Which is actually funny. It's just ridiculous because how much did we pay for this? Uh, yeah. Since we <laughs> since we really really got railed over on the <laughs> the garage door, he says, "I'll tell you what, you can have the sink for free." <laughs> Yep. So, so, what do you think good, about it, guys? Hey, boys. You guys are filthy. How are you so dirty? There's no ponds around here. Yeah, that's why I think about it, too. <laughs> My. So, <laughs> let's chat. <laughs> What'd you see, Grace? A sink. A sink, that's right. This is where you can wash your dishes. Right in here. So, that sink. It's awesome awesome it is awesome mm -hmm. but now it's gonna have to it's funny how one little thing can change your whole plans and rearrange every bit of what you were doing because we were done right we and we are done for this season we are we are done this will happen next year yes no if this will happen next year we'll put we'll put this somewhere in somewhere <laughs> maybe i'll put it in the chicken coop they can lay eggs in it <laughs> i'm teasing <sighs> I'm just teasing. You know, it's funny. The guy that was with us when we were offloading or when I was offloading yeah. stuff in, in the Rubens there, he, he kept saying, yeah, that'd make a good yard ornament. Yeah. I was like, no, I'm not going to use this in my yard. We got enough of that junk. I need something that's useful. We're trying to get rid of some of the junk. Yeah, that's why we're bringing stuff to you. For $6. But who's $6. counting? $6. I... Who's counting? That really bothers me. I thought it was going to be at least something that we could trade. Maybe 20 or 50. 50, but six. No wonder they're making a killing. Scrap. And what's sad is they'll probably just strip it apart and use the aluminum and stuff. Probably. But hey. Well, whatever. We. Um, Needed it not to get frozen to the ground and become mm -hmm. a serious hazard for people. Yeah. Driving animals. Through the snow, right. Moving snow ATVs, around. ATVs, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Yep. So yep. we have gotten probably an extra month out of fall. Yeah. Not summer. I was going to say summer, but fall. We're out of fall. This has been wonderful. We're expected to have some snow this weekend. Uh, excuse me, but... Um, that's, this is the middle of November almost. Yeah. Um, we would have already had a significant snowfall already. Yeah. So, We're I'm lucky. Very grateful. Very fortunate. grateful. Yeah. Hey, one thing too is you guys know we do the freeze dried food thing, Thrive Life, and we love it. Absolutely love it. But um, there is plans for a Black Friday sale, mm -hmm. and they usually discount a lot. Mm -hmm. Some years it's everything. Yes. 
It's literally yes. everything. And and some things are up to 50% off. Now, we don't know what that's going to yeah. be this year. We don't know the dates or the items that are going to be for sale. Um, we do know that there is a Black Friday sale in the works. They're, so, gonna, they're planning on it. Right. So be on the lookout for that. Yeah. But if you want to get in on that sale Early. before everybody else... Signing up as a consultant is the best way to go because you'll get those notifications and you get to order your stuff a whole 24 hours before Early. anybody else. Before all the good stuff goes before away. Before the good stuff goes away. Um, so sign up. The 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 least expensive uh, consultant kit is $100. And then but it's all food. It, it, well, mostly. Not, I would say 80% of it is food mostly. and then there's materials. Yeah. Um, but it's still... I mean, what other company can you get into for a hundred dollars? Plus, they're sending it's a you whole business. food for yourself. It's yeah. a whole business, um, and it's so a household name. It's a household name. It's a household but name. But we we love our Thrive Life ingredient or Thrive Life products ingredients ingredients because yeah. that's really what they are. They're ingredients. They're single ingredients. There's not a box of you know, 50 different ingredients and then you just add water and this is your meal. Here's, no. your, here's your bucket of you glop. You make your own. Mm -hmm. You can make your own meal in a jar with your favorite recipes. Mm -hmm. You just substitute the freeze-dried ingredients and vacuum seal it and there you go. So. Well, that's that. Yeah. There's a link down below or if you even just want more information, it's info.bigfamilyhomestead at gmail.com. There's that link down there too. Yep. But if you are thinking about getting some more food on the shelves, this is a fabulous way to do it. Yeah. And so shelf stable for 25 years can't beat it. Anyway, right. blah, 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 blah. I'm Brad. I'm Krista. You guys have an awesome and amazing day. <laughs> Bye.